Mr. Obama, I see you've been working for us for several years and your evaluation is overdue. Hmm. Records indicate that you took 17 vacations in three years. Is this correct? Is that even possible? Oh, I see. You like to play golf. Well, heaven forbid that your responsibilities should interfere with your golf. Oh, you say it's justified because you got a lot done? Well, can't argue with you there. It appears that about $800 billion in company funds has disappeared. That is quite an accomplishment. Excuse me? Uh, no, actually, we can't just print more because this is not Monopoly money we're talking about. That money is gone forever. It also appears that you eliminated people's health insurance and replaced it with an inferior plan that costs at least 10 times more. And the money goes into the pockets of your political cronies. Can you explain that? Let's move on to company loyalty. Who exactly are you working for? Sometimes I can't tell if you're a president or a weapons procurer for Islamic governments. And what is this about American law enforcement officers being murdered with weapons that you supplied to hardcore criminals? No, Mr. Obama, just because they are public servants does not mean they can be killed off for political purposes. You know, terrorist organizations and drug cartels are famous for bribing high-level officials. And your actions, sir, are very suspicious. Accomplishments? <clears throat> well, I see you're taking full credit for getting Osama bin Laden. Well, what exactly did you do? Intelligence officers worked for years to locate him, and when they did, you, from the comfort of your office, reluctantly gave the okay to go get him. So how exactly does that qualify you to take full credit? I'm also disturbed that you appear to have set up our Benghazi people <clears throat> to be attacked by terrorists. You refused them the security they requested, and when they were under attack, you stopped all rescue attempts. Once again, Mr. Obama, whose side are you on? Now, under your management, it appears our credit rating has been downgraded for the first time ever. <coughs> and you are continuing with the exact same policies that caused it. Now, most people learn from their mistakes, Mr. Obama, but apparently you cannot even admit to making a mistake. Which brings me to a question. How is it possible to spend the most prosperous nation in the world into bankruptcy? Well, you and your political cronies seem to have found a way. So, <coughs> with your proven track record of failure, why should we trust you with anything? Now, even though you have failed every category of this evaluation, you give yourself absolute perfect scores in all categories. Can you explain that? <laughs> After seriously considering your job performance, the best thing I can say is that what you lack in competence, you make up for in arrogance. Good luck in your next career, Mr. Obama. This is Wild Bill for America. Thank you for watching, and God bless America again.